The Architectural Association of Kenya hosted a commemorative dinner to celebrate its 50th birthday on 31st of May 2017. The event took place at the Sarova Stanley Hotel in the same room where the association was formed on the same date in 1967. In reminiscence, architect Stevie Noundo impersonated the late Archer as he read the inaugural memo that was read in 1967. This room on the 31st of May the year 1967 was called Tate. Okay? And this is the very room where thus the first meeting was held. Uh, the convener then was uh, CJ Archer. So I'll try and read the notice for the meeting in the way I think he did it. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you are hereby invited to attend, and notice is hereby given that the inaugural meeting of a new professional society in Kenya for architects, port duty surveyors, town planners, and professional engineers concerned with the building and environment will take place in the Tate Room at the new Stanley Hotel, the 31st of May, 1967, at the year, at the time, 5 p.m. Architect Emma Miloyo, the president of the Architectural Association of Kenya, highlighted the achievements of the association over the last 50 years. The AK has a lot to celebrate today. First and foremost, I think all of you are quite aware of the automated uh, development approval processes in Kenya. This was a, a journey started and initiated by our own association about 10 years ago. And uh, this system now is implemented in over four cities and towns in, in this country. That is Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, and most recently Kiambu. Interestingly, a lot of people come to visit Kenya, and the same system has been exported to Kigali, and most recently is being uh, initiated in Iraq. So there you have it. AK is actually producing things that are being used not only intra-Africa, but outside Africa. The MC mentioned the matter of uh, single business permits. I think that is something that we also have to celebrate and gave a, a very elaborate description of how that came to be. But it's something that we take for granted, but our own very association made possible. Very important, and even as we talk about, we have two past presidents in the East Af uh, of the East Africa Institute of Architects, is a mutual recognition agreement for cross-border services, for architectural services that was signed, and, and uh, AAK played a very core uh, role in this. The AAK has also published numerous documents and, and uh, policy papers. And uh, about 20 years ago, or less than, uh, also um, launched the Joint Building Council, JBC, which continues to be a very core um, um, uh, organization in the uh, construction industry and also the document, the Green Book, used almost uh, in 90% of all building contracts in private sector. AK continues to grow and improve its internal systems and now we have a fully e electronic voting system and I think national government can learn something from that. AK has been at the forefront of the cons conservation of building heritage and uh, has participated in, in numerous committees uh, that have been formed and most recently advocated for the removal of the advertisement uh, around the KICC, uh, which David Mutiso was part of. Argu arguably the most iconic building, not only in uh, Nairobi, but in East Africa. Last but not least of the things I'm going to list today is the excellence uh, uh, in architecture awards, which continue to promote and celebrate what we consider best practice. David Mutiso, architect, gave a recollection of the formation of the Architectural Association of Kenya 50 years ago. As one of the 46 professions of professionals who are present 50 years ago, I feel greatly honored that I am still able to say what happened. During AK Silver Jubilee anniversary, 
I was requested to deliver a speech. A speech I delivered entitled Visions and Reflections. Madam President, I do not consider that my thoughts have changed much during the last 25 years from that occasion for me to reflect differently in a different thoughts about move, how moving forward, which is your theme. These 46 men and I, one of them was a woman. They attended the inaugural meeting of the, the new professional society in Kenya for architects, conservators, town planners, and professional engineers concerned with the building. The name, names of the 46 are recorded for posterity in the minutes of the meeting held this same, in this same hotel in May 2031. The formal resolution to form a new society was proposed by the late Amos Connell. He was a, a, a partner of uh, Triad and seconded by Mr. Moody. The subject then was debated and separate letters read by Elm, Nelms, he was teaching, or in fact the head of the conservators uh, department at uh, the university college. Sidney Locke, a town planner, and K. Standish King, an architect, and uh, Gordon Melvin, a structural engineer. There are other 14 speakers, including yours truly, who followed supporting the formation of society. The chairman, after summing up the general discussion, then proposed the formation of the society. The proposal was carried out unanimously. The chairman asked that the adoption of the Constitution be adopted tentatively, pointing out that it covered generally the position and that the bylaws and the name would later be drawn up to cover the details. He explained the roles of the steering committee at the time. A steering committee, a steering committee of two persons from each of the four professionals together with the chairman, and the secretary were then proposed and seconded. Graham McCulloch, chairman, Arda M. Pokinghorn, and Chris Archer, to represent the architect. Engineers were Gordon Melvin and Fitzgerald. Conservators were David Thompson and Nelms. The town planners were me and Sidney Locke. The acting secretary was Richard. This steering committee was instructed to review the constitution in the light of the meeting, draft bylaws, liaise with other professional institutions in Kenya to advise, uh, for advice and comments in performing their function. They were given an interim of two months for them to complete the bylaws and to and a name. The steering committee was then left to choose the name of society. 
Dance PS, architect Mariamo El Mau, encouraged members of the association to emulate efforts of the founding members in ensuring quality in the building and construction industry. And when we're looking at looking back and moving forward, what does it mean for us? I have only one thing that I'd like to say. These auspicious buildings, the KICC, where the people who worked on it are even in this room, you know they challenge us. They did that 40 years ago, 50 years ago. They shaped the CBD, they shaped community, they looked at the, the planning of these towns, as well as Mombasa and Nakuru and Kisumu and all other towns. So as we're going forward, what are we saying is the vision of this country in the built fabric? What is it that we want our country to start looking like now? How do we give ourselves the competitive edge? How do we make our cities resilient? How do we make the architecture to be the splendor of who we are? How do we take this 50 years forward into the next generation so that we can soar, not just with the KICC, but we can soar with the intellect and the skills and the expertise that is right here in this room and the right here in this country? Our country depends on us. Our country waits for us. The founders showed us how to do it. So let's not sit back. Let's step out into that space and let us be the ones to articulate what the built vision for this country is going to be. Junior Grace Kagondu and the Architectural Association of Kenya CEO Jacob Mwangi spearheaded the launch of the AK at 50 commemorative documentary whose theme was looking back, moving forward. Now invite all of you to join us in celebrating AK at 50 uh, through this documentary that has been produced to, to support AK at 50. On 31st of May 1967, the Architectural Association of Kenya was formed. What does it mean for AK turning 50? It's terrific. <laughs> oh, I feel very happy that I've been there at the beginning and I'm still there, very much active. We are 50 today. I hope and pray that when we're celebrating 100, I will be still able to see the light of day. I think it started about, about 50 years back uh, and uh, fortunately I think I'm, I'm one of the oldest members. My, my number is 22, my membership number. I think before that all, all those people before me, I think they have died. Fortunately I'm still alive. <laughs> I arrived in 1969, six years after independence. Um, the tallest building in Nairobi was Barclays Bank Queensway, about seven stories high. In one sense, that the hallmark to me was the early town planning of Buruburu, which was Matisse Menezes. At the time, Kenya was gaining its independence. The country had to overcome the racial segregation debacle. When I started in 67, I just joined the university. And uh, so, a student, we are being kicked left, right, and center by, by those who are in the profession, of course. Right? No need to talk about the color. I'm, I'm very proud of the association, and I reflect on the fact that when I came to Kenya, the only black African architect was David Tisa. He asked me, but by the way, who will you be designing for? After all, Africans live in mud huts. I don't think I'd answered or whatever answered. Uh, I couldn't be rude to Amzongo. Throughout its existence, the association has achieved incredible milestones over the years. I will start with the uh, commencement or the implementation of the electronic uh, construction permit management system. And the last one, of course, was the acquisition of um, a new home for AK Secretariat. We are 50 years old. 
but for the majority of that 50 we were renters um, and our most recent home of course was professional center I applied for, for the funds, which was actually advertised uh, during, in, in the AK media. And upon receiving the invitation to be part of the first beneficiaries, I took it as a, as a very positive idea that was brought to the institutions. And now from this is when I started appreciating what the kitty has done to, to, to students. Our theme captured, captures it quite aptly, um, looking back, moving forward. Uh, birthdays are a wonderful time, anniversaries are a wonderful time to look back and see what have you achieved. The celebration of the 50 years Golden Jubilee birthday was crowned by a cake cutting ceremony. followed by an open dance. dance and your laughter too. We gonna celebrate your party with you. Come on now. Celebration. Let's all celebrate and have a good time. Celebration. We gonna celebrate and have a good time. Build Design Magazine was the official media partner. Celebration. Celebration. Good times. Come on. Let's celebrate.